Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and we're here today continuing our coverage of the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal stream. We're actually going to be talking quite a bit about powers and abilities, because there's a lot that Bungie made very clear during the reveal stream, like the three new subclasses in the three uh, supers that go along with them. But there's also some abilities that get showcased, both in the opening gameplay trailer they showed us, where they are playing through the Homecoming mission, and also throughout random pieces of gameplay that they showed throughout the stream. So before we get into that, let's actually just talk about the three new subclasses that go with the three returning classes. This is actually kind of special too when you think about it. I'm standing here right now talking about the three new subclasses that are going to launch with Destiny 2. For a lot of us Destiny vets, looking back at the moments where we finally decided the class we were going to play and, you know, now looking forward and saying, oh yeah, that's my main, that's my favorite character. Like, maybe you played all three classes, but for a lot of us, there's still one class whether it be the Titan, the Hunter, the Warlock, that is like, that's our guy, that's our girl. That's the character that we experience the most of Destiny with, and that's really quite special. Looking back to the Alpha and the Beta and playing the Hunter and playing the Warlock and then eventually just saying, no, the Titan is like, that's it, I'm going with the Titan, that's a big memory for a lot of us. So standing here now, knowing that there's gonna be potentially thousands upon thousands upon thousands of new Destiny players making Destiny 2 their very first Destiny experience in that same situation, that's kind of special. It's a bit emotional, it's a bit sappy, it's a bit old man, let me tell you the story about my childhood, but that's really what it is and that's kind of cool to me. So let's talk about these three new subclasses, starting with the Warlock. We have what they're calling the Dawnblade, and it makes a lot of sense because you jump up in the air, you get off the ground away from all of the bad stuff happening down there, and then you start to rain death from above with a mythical fire sword that blasts off Phoenix burst damage. So you're basically throwing giant fire strikes. It's like, man, it's like you, you stole Reinhardt's powers and then put him inside of a sword. You're pretty badass. It looks amazing. The animation set for it is incredible. And it's going to be a great way for the Warlock to sort of break up the fight. A bit of damage focused crowd control, if you will. It looks incredible. It's a great reason to pick the Warlock, in my opinion. Let's move forward, though, and talk about the Titan's new subclass, which is called the Sentinel. This is going to give the Titan a shield that not only can be used in defensive situations, but that can be thrown sort of Captain America, Wonder Woman style to whack people in the face as an offensive tool. I mean, hell yeah, as a Titan, as a, as a Titan, me, an Awoken Titan, that's my main dude. This is incredible. This is the very first time in the history of Destiny, obviously, that the Titan is getting a subclass that is both offensive and defensive. That's really wicked. Previously, it was like, okay, I'm either gonna go Sunbreaker and do damage, I'm gonna go Striker and do damage, or I'm gonna go Defender and bubble my team and help them through some of the most intense firefights we've ever seen. Make our way through some incredible Nightfalls that we should not have been in because we weren't geared for. Really cool stuff, but you never really had the option to do both without swapping subclasses mid-fight. This is a pretty big deal in my opinion, and I can already think about you know, sort of an aggressive defense as my squad pushes our way through a Nightfall or through a Heroic with my shield up and then my buddy with the Hunter shows up and boom! Starts to use his brand new Arc Strider subclass. So, the Hunter gets the Arc Strider. This allows them to summon a mythical staff and then go full on martial arts acrobatic. The animation set for this looks incredible and I can just imagine the day that my brother and his Hunter jump over my shield, my Sentinel shield, and then just wreak havoc on a group of Cabal in a Heroic or a Nightfall or a Strike or Story. All three of these subclasses just came out fantastic in terms of how they look and how they perform, the animation sets for them, and of course their actual usability from a gameplay perspective. They just feel fresh, they feel new, and they feel like they sort of redefine the classes that we played uh, you know, inside of Destiny 1 for so long for. So I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to make it very hard for new Destiny players uh, to return or to make their way into the game and pick a class and it's going to be even harder for those of us who are returning Destiny players to continue to play the same classes that we played in Destiny 1 knowing that we've got these brand new subclasses to choose from. Let's talk abilities though. I want to point out a couple abilities that we see directly used in the footage and some that we don't see used that are definitely question worthy. Number one, it seems like the Warlock now has a heal, or at least some sort of a small AoE heal. So in the opening gameplay of the Homecoming mission, we're going to notice the Warlock is obviously using the Dawnblade Super, but you also see the Warlock multiple times do a sort of clear aura type ability. 
that puts a spot on the ground, a clear spot that seemingly heals them. Seems like a self-heal. That's a pretty cool thing. Obviously, the, one of the focuses of the Warlock has always been uh, self-healing and self-resing through some of the abilities. So that's that's actually really neat. I like the idea of that. I'm curious to see whether or not that little spot on the ground can heal other players. Because having a group heal would be pretty cool. And it would be the first time that we had like a direct healing ability in Destiny that... You know, people could stand in and just get heals from outside of like, you know, the Titan bubble and bonuses and all that stuff. I just think it looks wicked cool. So that's one that I noticed. We also have two more for the Titan that really stood out. Number one is what seems to be like a particle wall. You know, it's it's almost like Reinhardt's shield. It seemed to be like the same concept as the bubble. Instead of being a dome, though, it's just a shield in front of the Titan. It's really high. It could obviously defend multiple guardians. We also then see like a low wall deployed by a Titan that I thought was really interesting. So another holographic barrier, but this one is very low to the ground as if the Titan can only crouch below it. So the idea maybe of one of the defensive subclasses that the Titan has, or maybe even the primary subclass that we see with the shield, having an ability where they can deploy a low wall they can crouch behind. I think that's wicked cool. And the idea of being able to use that to really boost the sustainability of a Titan in a fight well, that's, that's pretty freaking fantastic. I mean, that just looks awesome. I'm very excited to see how those abilities blend into the Sentinel subclass or whether or not they're a part of a different subclass. And here's the big thing for me, right? When we talk about the subclasses, I would love to see Bungie go a little bit more in depth, which it seems like they're doing with the abilities within the subclasses themselves. So obviously it's great. We have our super, but giving players more flexibility within each of the subclasses to customize that subclass for their own personal playstyle or for different situations that would be really cool it kind of seems like that's what they're doing if i can have a low wall you know alongside of my sentinel or maybe swap it out for something else you know again that that flexibility player customization player choice to say this is how i play my sentinel titan this is how i play my dawn blade warlock that to me would have a lot of value. I'm really interested to see what they're doing with the subclasses, if they're maybe more free form now, if we can plug and play with different abilities for each of the subclasses more than we could before, and just how many abilities we actually get within each of the subclasses. It's a big question with not many answers. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any theories of your own on how each of these things are going to work or how they're going to mesh into the subclasses. If you have any theories on what the hell happened to the old subclasses, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more Destiny 2 coverage as it becomes available. And as always, remember to play smart, remember to play to challenge yourself, but most importantly, remember to play for fun.